Yeah, you call someone a heathen. <laughs> you call someone a fucking hell. Hold that, but let me fix up that Peter. You the truth, and all your motherfuckers is heathens. Hey, we should actually go up in that fat. I bet they got some deals up there. Dude, I have been there in a minute. Yeah. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise that some men found slackness, but it's long suffering to us, not willing that any should perish. Oh, that's long suffering. So here it is. What the. The New Testament is going on 2,000 years old. It's not quite, well, it's about, not, it's not even 2,000 years old yet, almost. But some people think, oh, the Lord ain't never coming back. But read that part again. It said, uh, it said the Lord, read that again. The Lord is not slack, concerning his promise. His promise that he made to Abraham, go ahead. And some men count slackness. Some men count slackness. But it's long suffering. But it's long suffering. So the Lord giving us time to get to get our shit together. So, I, so what kind of mercy would there be in the Lord coming one day and then be like, oh, y'all got to get it right. I'm going to come back next week. If y'all ain't right, I'm killing all y'all. They gave us plenty. There ain't going to be no excuses. They gave y'all plenty of time to get your shit together. <laughs> plenty of time. <laughs> all you need is hear the word. Get yourself right then. That's all it takes. Shit, it actually pisses the most high off motherfuckers ever. Ten years from now, these motherfuckers still lingering around the truth. Yeah, you do got to linger. Right. Like, in dudes be on the comment. I, I praise the most high. Like, we had this one young guy. He was watching our videos for years and years. He wanted to teach it. I guess now he's out there teaching This says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. How does the heaven, how do that, the heavens is the sky. Oh, according to a Christian, the heavens uh, uh, is where you go when you die. So I guess the heaven is going to be destroyed by fire, right? Uh, Most high and everything going to be destroyed. <laughs> no, so the heavens is talking about the sky. So how the hell, how the hell, did, what did I say the heavens is what? It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. The heavens shall pass away with great noise. And right now, hey, America is the uh, the white man's heaven. This is Esau's heaven. This is just going to pass away. This shit going to be destroyed. England. England, oh, definitely. No. That shit got to go. They claim it to be us. People, he was you know, the Vatican, that area, they love that shit. Well, they stole all that shit from us. They love it. England used to belong to Israel. The Edomites, they usurped that throne. I mean, a brother was talking earlier about uh, the Tudors. I guess it, you know, uh, uh, all the old English monarchs, those were all Israelites. Henry the Eighth was the Israelite. He broke away from the Catholic Church because he wanted to get more pussy. <laughs> That's all some of Israelite will do. He wanted to get more bitches, you know what I mean? They would only let him have one wife. Wow. He's like, nah, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, I think too, because there's one and one getting pregnant too, was it? Yeah, he's very wife. Yeah. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein. And the works, oh, let's talk about the works. Like, Shall be burned up. They're gonna be burned up. All the adultery. Ain't gonna be no more adultery. That's all gonna get. Them works is all burned up. A lot of y'all gonna get burned up while you in that very act. You know, you be probably gonna have some faggot getting fucked in his asshole and just right as the missus hit. You know, somebody cheating on a a woman cheating on her husband or something get destroyed right when the missus hit. That's what you said. They're gonna die in their sin. They're gonna die in their sin. What's that other scripture that there'll be two grinding and one will be taken? Matthew's 24, I think. Yeah, so you're going to see people around you. You might see people around you uh, get beamed up right before you get destroyed. Yeah, they're going to see it all right. How, how bugged out would you be? You see the death they're coming, and you see some people over here making it while they're leaving you behind. Yeah. You know? Oh, that, that, that's like, like Nicholas Cage and his dad. Oh, that was the best movie. <laughs> the knowing, the knowing. Yeah. You know there was another movie I ain't too. That he didn't make. Came out right after that. I can't remember the name of it. 
This is good as the day of Noah. Well, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man. Oh, be. so the days of Noah is going to be the same as the day of the Son of Man. What happened in the days of Noah? Death and destruction. That's what happened. People were having a good time. Everybody, Mary, yeah. Like the scripture says, Mary, giving into marriage, drinking and eating and drinking. Uh, polluting the earth. Right. Yeah, you know, the white man was around before the flood with the descendants of Cain. You had the descendants of Cain. Just think about what kind of evil they was pushing on the earth. You know what I mean? They're like they showed you in that movie. Y'all seen that Noah movie, right? Hey, that movie's it's all right. There, there's some obviously trash shit in it. But the part they show, they show you the descendants of Cain had cut down all the trees in the world. Some shit probably like that happened. Did they doing it now? Same shit. You know what I mean? They polluting the fuck out the earth. Yo, I can imagine. Like some cheesy splicing. Yeah. What's going on now? I can imagine the shit that's going on now. All kind of mutant yeah. creatures. Ants, combining seeds. Yeah. I can imagine. That's that. probably where you get stories and minotaurs and fucking. Right, right, right. Freak, freaky. <laughs> Man, I can't stand watching that lion tiger mix. I can't stand this. It don't even look sweet, man. What? A lion and tiger? Yeah, they mixed them. They mixed a lion and tiger together? Yeah. It looks stupid as fuck. That's it's just a fat ass mutt. <laughs> that shit's crazy. It's like a fat mutt. It don't even look sweet, man. It don't look like damn that motherfucker. I want me a copy. I want me one. It don't look like you want a lion. You want a tiger. Everybody does, man. Well, at least somebody, everybody in their right mind. <laughs> shit, I want me a dragon. <laughs> yeah, definitely want to drag you like my boy off of uh, Game of Thrones. I want all that shit, man. You know, I want about 10,000 pit bulls and German shepherds, 10,000 German shepherds. You know, I want to, and Esau going to clean up shit every fucking day. <laughs> shit, feed them. Man, this motherfucking devil in trouble. <laughs> Hey, that would be we fun taking a lion for a walk. Well, we can get down, man. I'll be here. You ain't gonna and you ain't gonna need a leash either. Hell no. I was just about to get that one. Oh, oh the kids playing with um, the, the snakes. You know, that's not Isaiah. Yeah, that's Isaiah. Our kids gonna be a priest. We ain't gonna be worrying at, worrying about our children. You know, we ain't, we gonna have to worry about our children. Sure, our kids gonna be coming home bad up. Killed me by 20 Edomites today. He looked at me wrong. So I killed his whole family. You mad? No, son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. Shit, did your sister say it? <laughs> Shit. Right, right, right. That's what's coming, man. That's what's coming. Our reward, which is great. It says, Glass, in the days of no work, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that they were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that no entered in. And these motherfuckers, I listen to these motherfuckers, my son, shh, on the way, going down the long way, going down the long way. Um, talking to my son, like, they get married, they're going to they gonna go to college first, the motherfucker, the boy going to work, send the girl to college, then after she graduates, he, man, these motherfuckers make a stupid ass plan. They doing about doing the death. College, that's the thing of the past. That's that 1980 shit. College. That student debt shit is almost about to get two trillion dollars. You got major experts throughout the world saying college is now just it's a joke. It only get you a job. You go to college, graduate, now you a manager of Walmart. Congratulations. Yeah, McDonald's. Hey. Management position, I guess. Something to brag about. Soon enough, McDonald's gonna be shut down. Yeah. All this shit's about to shut down. Okay, it says, and giving into marriage until the day that no entered into the heart, and, and knew not until the flood came, took them all away. And like the scripture says, the Lord will strike like a thief in the night. Okay, he took them all no. away. Right, man. They took them all. Where did he take them all away to? To death. <laughs> Pain. I just like the way the Bible was wording it. Bro. He said, he took them all away. He took them all away. He took them all away. Man, could you imagine during the time of the flood? Say you was Noah 
and you motherfuckers banging on the door, clawing you, you, the screen. You can imagine the screen and shit. And hey, we gonna get to hear some screams. That boat was probably surrounded too. Yeah, they probably got out the boat. There's probably fingernails and all kind of yeah. blood and shit on the wood. Yeah. You know, people clawing and scratching to get in. And you just looking and seeing dead bodies floating everywhere. Going out the cellar. I would have been outside and talking to that motherfucker with that downtown. I told y'all to drink a wine. I told y'all. <laughs> I told y'all. They were probably terrified though of all that rain. <laughs> hey, you pookie. Look, damn it, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. These motherfucking niggas. I hate these niggas. What's that? So shall also become a son of man be. Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken, and the other left. Motherfuckers are going to be out there looking for food and kind of eating some hard times for them, man. They eat. They're going to be eating. Hard times. And it's going to be people going back to how stupid they are. They have zero survival skills. They don't know anything about nothing. So how you gonna eat that day? This motherfucker's gonna be biggest for earthworms. Yeah, they're gonna be eating worms. Earthworms. Like they don't the average person don't even know you can eat a dandelion. Earthworms. I see yeah, they look like some shit you shouldn't eat. <laughs> it's it's slimy? Oh yeah. Remember when they looked at the, the clear slime there's in the They eat. They gonna eat anything, they get roaches, everything. they eat everything. Everything. The one that gets delivered is the one that's sitting there talking. Man, we, I don't think we're supposed to eat that. <laughs> man, we ain't supposed to eat that, man. <laughs> it says, the two shall be in the field, the one shall be taken. And the other left. Two women shall be burning at the meal. The one shall be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for ye know not what your hour, your Lord, doth come. Yeah, you it says, watch therefore. Happen. You got watch. Watch. What are we looking for? I mean, ask Pastor, what are you watching for? Love. Uh, to see the government pass some more legislation to improve the neighborhoods. <laughs> you know how these dumb motherfuckers talk, man. You know how these stupid motherfuckers talk. They don't teach prophecies in the church. Yeah. They don't never talk about the day of the Lord. Never. Talking about the day of fire. And the Lord gonna rain fire on his, on his... That's like the main message of the scripture, man. Really. It's all through the New Testament, Old Testament. All the prophets seen that vision of that fire coming. They don't ever harp on Noah's Ark. They don't even... What do they even cheat? They sing and dance. sing and dance. Yeah, they teach you shit. I remember when I went to church. I went to that church right here. Look. Ah. We'll get it on camera. Oh, my girl, she gonna think I'm getting her on camera. I'll just wait. Fuck that yeah, fuck that bitch. Fuck that bitch man. Let me get this over here. What is that? Uh, yeah, that's actually the church I, I went to growing up. And they never taught me about the fire. Oh, actually, that pastor. I was asking him to break down because uh, I was reading Revelation. You know, the scripture come out the day the Lord. You know about Babylon being destroyed and all that. I asked the pastor to break it down. I was like, I, I, this is crazy. I, I break this down for me. He's like, oh, son, the Lord will put a seal on the book of Revelation. We can't understand it right now. I wish you get that script the seal. Hey. I guess he was partially right. He actually is though, right though. <laughs> but it was already unsealed by when you were a king. Yep. All yep. The you know, it's when it was unsealed. I can read it real quick. You know, John, I, you know what? John the Baptist, so let me say it that way. Yep. When John the Baptist came back. Let's see if I can find that right. And that's here. what's crazy how I was to a, a video. Well, Tahora was saying that when he first came, before he became the truth, he noticed some man, I can't remember who he said it was, but he said, is that John the Baptist? You know? And that's the same thing I looked at him too. I've seen the same thing in my mind, man, when I first seen pictures of 
I'm a bitch. I ain't know. I didn't even know. You know what I'm saying? That's just a thug out, man. You identify immediately with somebody in the scripture just by seeing them. Yep. I ain't do that when we put that um um uh, uh, rabbi Schottenstein's. That's rabbi Schottenstein. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You don't even, you know you don't think like he that. He does not match the description. Right. Well, whoever fucking rabbi, whoever motherfucker rabbi, man. Yeah, that's how you know who the real Israelites are. Now you read the scriptures, the scriptures talking about Samson, great warrior, King David, a great warrior. Yeah. Now we talking about the manliest of the manliest men ever. Yeah. Then you look at a rabbi. That don't match it don't That's like trying to stick a uh what they say, a, a, a you trying to stick a square peg in a circle hole. Shit don't fucking fit. It don't fit. That's for real, too, man. Same thing with the picture of uh, 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 Jezre Bullshit. We always say, man, when we see that picture, there's something right about it. I had a dream once. I, I seen uh, the false image of the Lord in my dream, Cheshire Bourget. Cheshire. Just for the camera, they don't know. Cheshire. I had a dream. Like, I remember I was in boot camp in the military when I had a dream. And I seen him and he looked at me. And I knew that he was the devil. I was like, that guy's the devil. But I didn't understand it. At first, I thought my dream was trying to tell me that, oh, the Bible's bullshit or something. But what I came to realize that this devil right here, is that on camera? Cheers, you right. Okay, we, we came to find out that this guy actually is the devil. Okay, that's that false image. That's Cheshire Borgia, son of Pope Alexander VI. That ain't the Lord. Hey, let me. Re uh, we don't take so kindly of you guys out here teaching that word. Yeah. <laughs> God, God is all colors. Jesus is all colors. He's a rainbow coalition man. He's a he's a pack of skittles. I'm, hey, well, let me go into this real quick. Revelation five and one. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written. Within and on the backside, sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong, hey, look, he said, I saw a strong angel. A strong angel. I saw, you know, they got, they put an emphasis, you know what I mean? I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice. Oh, why y'all talking so loud? Now, you know, in the movies, they show an angel. He'll be, he'll be all like butt naked with some wings. Come on, oh, my children. But the angels, when you say an angel, you're going to be terrified. They're going to speak with a rough voice. If an angel spoke, it probably it could knock a building down. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know who the village people is? Yeah. Man. <laughs> I like the angels on that movie didn't know him. They was all, all the tall whites. Yeah. They actually some tall that's actually thing they teach out there. Some people. The tall, like the tall blonde. Yeah, the tall blonde. Yeah. They'll say that's where the Nordics the, descend from the, an, the ancient alien race. That's some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? The, actually, the Nordic people would have descend from black people. You bunch of dumbasses. I saw, I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice. Who is worthy to open a book and to loose the seals thereof? mean to loose the seals to give you the understanding and no man in heaven nor in earth neither under the earth was able to open the book neither to look there look thereon and i wept much because no man was found worthy to open and read the book neither to look thereon and one of the elders saith unto me weep not behold the lion of the tribe of judah the root that David had prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. That's the point I wanted to get. Like the brother is saying, the seals got loosened. Start with uh, uh, the brother Abba Vivid, okay? It, and he's from the tribe of Judah. Right. How that works, you gotta, speak, you gotta explain to you like these people are simple, like the children. Yeah. The most high used angels to get in the head of the brother, period. That's how I went down. Let me get that. Well, it said right here, the strong uh, angel with a strong voice. 
I mean, you can read all through the scripture about how angels give brothers understanding. And what came, an angel came to the prophet Ezra. Angel came to Daniel. So the angels came to Abra Abraham. The, the, the Most High talked with the Most High uh, with Abraham himself. That was most. Abraham was the Most High's friend. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Whew. We gotta see Sodom and Gomorrah get destroyed. Yeah. But hey, but we get to see America get destroyed. Hey, hey. So hey. Pastor uh, John saw the Lord crucified. He saw him, you know. Yeah. He saw him being crucified. What's that scripture of? Saw a lamb as though it was slain. Yeah, that's the Revelation. That's Revelation six. Yeah. Five, six. It says, First Corinthians two. I'm going to start at 6. How be it we speak with you and mean them that are perfect. Oh, I'm going to fart. Before I cut you, I got to cut you off real quick. Another good point. It said the lion in the tribe of Judah succeeded in loosening the seals of the book, right? Right. So that means the Israelites are the ones who got the proper knowledge. Not the Christians, because the Christians, like Vocab Malone says what? He says that he's not an Israelite. He said he's a Gentile. But the scripture said that the Israelites was going to lose them seals. The, the tribe of Judah, to be specific, was going to be the, and that's in the book of Revelation. And so you know that's not talking about them fake Jews in Israel. They don't even believe in the New Testament. So that's a cut on all these fake Christians, a cut on vocab. When you really think about that, because they say they Gentiles. So I guess that means y'all ain't lose no seals. I'm about to ask for no judgments. Hey, John, no, my fault. Go ahead. That's a good point, okay. though. Verse 7. But we speak the wisdom of the Most High in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom. Uh, that's hidden. We got that hidden wisdom. Which the Most High ordained before the world unto our Lord. Yeah, before the world was even created, this knowledge was already here. Oh, John 1 and 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was the Most, was the most High. Which none of the princes of this world do, for had they known it, they would have not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which the Most High have prepared for them that love him. But the Most High have revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, and there we go. The I, our Lord, use the tribe of Judah. Yeah, it was the tribe of Judah. Does it make sense? It got to be Judah. Well, the, the Lord himself was from the tribe of Judah. King David was from the tribe of Judah. So, Because the tribe of Judah got greater responsibilities than the other tribe. When you think about it, they were supposed to be the head tribe. They were supposed to lead by example. It says, What well, the most high has revealed him unto us by his spirit, for the spirit searches all things, Yea, the deep things of the Most High. For what man knoweth the things of a man, said the spirit of man which is in him, even so the things of the Most High knoweth no man but the spirit of the Most High. That's beautiful. That's just who we didn't work ourselves up. It's just, you know, those motherfuckers that's claiming that found Jesus, you know, they had found their wisdom, they had found the truth. Found their church. Well, the Lord said, I have chosen you, you have not chosen me. For real. For real, if you had the truth, you already, the Lord, you was created with the truth already. Oh, what's that scripture? The kingdom of heaven is within you. You know, you know what that says? The scripture's mentioned how we were all we're doing is being reminded. Right. Yeah. We're just being reminded of this over and over, you know. We use scripture, we're being reminded. Because over time, a lot of times you do forget a lot of shit, man. A lot of information, a lot of whatever. Like we can't remember when we were kids, you know? Uh, I can't shit. remember last week. Right, so a lot of things were just being reminded. Like, oh shit, we already knew this. That's why when we read these scriptures, it ain't foreign to us, man. That's why oftentimes, even Paul's letters, he says, uh, I to bring this to your remembrance. Bring this to your remembrance, bro. Because we already had it, the truth is already in you. But that's why when you educate, you got to educate someone. The word educate means to draw from within. Oh, 
And that's proof right there who the real Israelites are because the Revelation said the tribe of Judah was going to loosen the seals. They're the first ones to get the understanding. So that's why when you see uh, when the Israelite thing came on the scene with brothers teaching on the streets, who was teaching? It was mostly all Judah. So called black people. Like back then, man, it was. Like, it looked like everybody was just Judah. But now you see it's, it's, uh, it's, it's all the 12. It's all the 12. You start, you starting to see all the different shades of colors and all that. Out of them twelve, there's some beautiful colors pushing the truth. You know, beautiful, beautiful, man. All twelve, all twelve. Now you don't see Amalek out here with all his whatever fuck. That's how you know they're not in Israel. What? Eleven tribes. Eleven. They're eleven dudes. Yeah. That's in First Chronicles. I think the first chapter. Yeah. They got that goose from us too. Goose <laughs> Yeah. Got you ain't here. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. I got. I got a quick one. Can I get? Can I get a quick one? Go ahead. Huh? It's just going. Uh, we was just saying. What's that scripture you just read? What did it say? Huh? Okay. But well, we talking about the kingdom. I quoted this scripture. So. This is uh, Luke seventeen and twenty one. Neither shall they say. Lo, here or there, for behold, the kingdom of the Most High is within you. Oh, that's going back to that John. Was that you and John, right? No, Corinthians. Was you in Corinthians? Oh, I'm I'm tripping. But what did it say something about the spirit that tries everything, right? Or whatever. Because really, the kingdom of heaven is within us first. Because, you know, the, the, earth, the kingdom was already set aside for Israel before the earth was even created. Because actually, we're the kingdom. Because we're actually the kingdom of people. Because what kind of kingdom would you have with no people in it? What are you talking about? I want no big things in yet. <laughs> so really, the kingdom is not a place. It's a big thing too. The kingdom is not a place. It's a, it's a people. people. It's a people. people. It, this for all it says, Now we receive not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of the Most High, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of the Most High. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of the Most High. That's true, too. Because the Spirit is what open your eyes to, to the truth. Like, we can't really teach you the truth. You have to, the spirit inside of your spirit gonna reveal the truth to you. In, inside your spirit. And that's something you can't even explain. You know, but that's how people receive the truth. The Holy Spirit jump on you and the spirit reveal that truth to you. And then you can see it clearly. Yeah. Yeah. But the spirit ain't working with you, we can't help you. All the brothers. It's like having a day for them to come in. Yeah. That's when the spirit is working with you. You just be sitting there meditating. And then you watch, and you just meditate like, damn, he brought his just right. I can see it, you know? I can't explain it, man. You it's can't explain like, it. That's some deep mystery. I mean, it's like, wow. That first time, you just came back. Kept going, that kept spirit going. hit you. And you just know it's the truth. Yeah. And immediately, immediately, you cast off everything. Is this like you already knew all this? Yeah. All that shit you done learned, you done found out. These motherfuckers is teaching you bullshit. These people are teaching you how to die, man. They leading you in the ways of death. Teaching you to teach the serving of the gods. Shit, I was into that fucking Anunnaki and shit. Right, right. The B-Rude. Right. <laughs> that shit sounds attractive. It does. It sounds attractive. you serving different gods. Eating all kind of foul foods. Living an unclean, unhealthy life, period, man. Ways of the fucking world. What happens when the spirit hits you? The Lord, the Most High, sanctioned for you to wake up that day. Man. And that's one. That's something too, though. Like even when you wake up to truth, I'm like better physical health. Yeah, everything. Everything. everything you everything. probably be dead by now. Too. Everything. Yeah. You probably live. You probably dead. Real. That fucking store of GNC, man. That shit is a poison. GNC. Yeah, yeah. Look at that shit in there. I ain't never went there. Give you some uh, some protein shakes. Yeah, that shit. That's the worst. The 
That's that processed shit that eats your stomach, bro. I probably got fucks your shit up. Big and everything with that. Fucking mattress, isn't it, bro? That shit fucks your uh, pancreas off, that's bad for your body, period. All that processed shit. Yeah, there's a video of someone making a video on how to fuck the protein counter is fake anyway. I, I make my own. Like, I use, um, I use, um, coconut water. No, I use, um, I'm tripping. I can't think. I use, uh, uh, milk, the milk, uh, 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 peanut milk, uh, almond milk, with almond butter, you know, bananas. I mix it. I make my own shit now, man. <laughs> I need something for my muscles. That's funny as fuck. I can't use it. I'm having a problem with muscle. Point. What's a good food for muscle recovery? There you go. I just did it. Is that it? That's it. Well, I know bananas are good though, right? Yeah, bananas are good for blood. So you know, you know, you get Charlie horses and shit. I just have a problem with it. I right now, bite. I, I shouldn't take days to recover. That's what I need to do. Bananas is just bananas for passing so you can get Charlie horses. Yeah. But them greens, that, that, like I said, that almond butter, milk, and the almond peanut butter, it's expensive as fuck. Yeah. It's, it's amazing, look at that. I shouldn't be, shouldn't be drinking the old vitamin D milk. <laughs> I ain't take, I don't remember the last time I had that. That shit got so many antibiotics. I don't remember the last time I had that. I swear to God, I don't remember. I mean, I go to buy a milkshake from the uh, Dairy Queen every once in a while. That's milk in it, but I don't buy milk. Usually when I use milk, I mix it with water. Milk? Like, I make a bowl of cereal, I'll do half milk, half water. Yeah, that shit gross. I hate milk. Oh, I don't fuck with it. Anti-immune system milk. Anti -immune I can feel it. Every time I put a lot of cheese and milk in my mouth, it fucks up my performance. My cats will get diarrhea if they drink milk. Oh, uh, and most people get diarrhea. Most people get milk You know, most, uh, half the people are lactose intolerant. If they eat ice cream, drink yeah. milk, they, they, they get the shit. I might eat some sherbet. Like I say, every long once in a while, go give me a black almond shake. That black walnut, black walnut is amazing. Man. Black walnut, I hope. Black walnut. Let me finish this scripture. Uh, now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit of the Most High, that we might know the things that were freely given to us. Freely given? Ah, oh, we got some free. Brothers was out there, they were charging for DVDs of the videos. Like Nate and them, they charge, you know what I mean? We're not here to profit off people. We are here giving the truth for free. That's how you know we mean business. They still doing that shit. They still doing that We're the only people out there you know say it's not about no money. You see the new dude that got locked up that was in there? Yeah, I see it. He got locked up for ripping that guy off, I heard, right? I don't know, but it was like $20,000 to $50,000 or something. People stole people in the church or something. That's, that's how you, but we've been told people that. Yeah. I mean. They can't figure it out, fuck it. Y'all deserve to get ripped off. If you dumb enough to go to one of these churches and join one of these Israelite groups, you know, that's out here taking all your money, I mean, <laughs> you deserve to get robbed. Hey, they call dude pockets? They call yeah, they call him the, the pocket. <laughs> he deserved to get, get guy like that. Cause I'm not guy, you ain't, I'm not stupid like that. You're not gonna get me like that. That tells you how smart they, the, the level, the quality of men that they have in their group. You know what I mean? We witnessed the first one. They that stupid that they can let, let somebody get them for thousands of dollars like that. We witnessed the first one. stupid in the world. You gotta be stupid. Fuck, they ask me a question, they answer and saying something, and they're wrong, walking away from me. Like, <laughs> Yeah, them motherfuckers. Is that what you're defending the basketball? Is it in a sprint? You supposed to sprint? <laughs> He's supposed to, uh, what's the scripture? Defend the gospel. Bold as a lion. Yeah. What's that scripture always bring out that, uh, uh, the, uh, the righteous is bold as a lion? Where you go? Where you go? Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. That's heavy though, like you said, that's the Holy Spirit teaching you. 
So you learning the heaviest mysteries is in in your in the spirit. Yeah. That's where all the heaviest understanding of the scriptures and truth comes. Yeah. Is in the, is in your in the spirit. You can't explain that shit. Yeah. When you go when you go to bed and lay down, they in your head. Yeah. <laughs> Probably too heavy. You probably walking too long. Walls and poles and shit. Yeah. Hey, hey, you have one of them crazy dreams. Hey, you be learning. The spirit be teaching you in your dream. Yeah. Give you a vision. Hey, the most high, uh, strengthen your faith when you have a vision of some missiles. You like, you have a dream that's so fucking real. That shit's just so fucking real. It has to be a vision of the future. Yeah, yeah. Like what I had this morning, man. That's not you. Just your dreams are just not your head making stuff up. Okay, it's already been proved. You know they say that the, uh, you know the the pineal gland produces a uh, DMT, which is the most powerful hallucinogen on earth. That's crazy. But uh, they say a DMT is like a that's like a trans-dimensional uh, portal open pretty much. That's the most high made some crazy shit when he created our brain. Yeah, because your pineal gland was to create DMT, serotonin, melatonin. That's where stress comes from, that's where adrenaline comes from, all that, man. All that. And if it's corrupt, it's, if it's calcified, if it's not working properly, your spirit just, you you can look at a motherfucker, oh, he dead. Yeah. That's, let's turn around, bro, that's a death. Yeah. There you go, most of the people. Oh, they calcify pineal glands. It says, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the most high, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can they know them. Yeah, because they are spiritually the same. Right here, because these people right here. The truth is foolishness, they are fool. That's it. That's the same thing as that. Where you at? Yeah, yeah, first friend is one, two. That's what the fuck is this? These people are assholes. That's crazy. Most I said wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is foolishness to this. Oh. You know what you're doing with. Wisdom is foolishness to a fool. You know what you're doing with. Yeah, I'll be good. I hated that street my whole life. All my whole life. I yeah. went to school in Ohio. Right? And they tore Ohio down. You see that shit? Yeah, yeah. They destroyed that thing. I hated it. I hated that whole area. I had to go there every day. There's just number evil demons everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's one of these. Sensual pleasure. All they care about is how they gonna get high, how they gonna get drunk. What's yeah, the police in their flesh. What time their favorite show come on? That's how they justify homosexuality, y'all. 
man, look, that shit is stupid ass. So that's just, they don't, they don't, they can't prove it scientifically. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or, or that, that bitch is more different. That's that video you that's uploaded right. by that one dude talking shit about Israel. He's like, oh, I can't suck a dick to fuck oh, a yeah. tranny. He's like, I can't right. fuck a tranny. Right, He's right. like, y'all are boring. Right, right, right. The, guy, the goal is to get a nut. I'm just trying to get my nut. Most likely. And these people, they do anything for a nut. They just can't continue, continue making up shit. Like the new shit I brought up before that they're bringing out now, they're making Israel in Africa. You know, they're eating Egyptology, black conscious bullshit. They're trying to eat it all. No, uh, made it all. Man. Yeah. One of them black conscious motherfuckers talking about Shalawan. Shalawan. They be like, Shalawan, Hotep. One second he's saying hotel, next second he's calling everybody's hot. They do that shit because it sounds cool. Yeah. And because if you call someone hot, that does sound cool. Yeah. Shit, that's, that's Hebrew. Hebrew, Hebrew. We invented Hebrew. Cool. So they're just waxing worse. They're waxing worse. They're waxing worse. They're getting worse and worse. That's, that's an abomination. There's no end to the virus. They think they learn, they're going to learn something. They I just see that. The scripture we read earlier. It uh, fools like a broken vessel. You can hold no water as long as you're living. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> okay. Where envy and strife is, there is confusion in every evil word. That's all this out here is confusion. That's why we call the place Babylon. Confusion. But the wisdom that is from above is first here. Then peaceable, gentle, easy to be interpreted. Easily to be, this truth is easy to be, it's easy to understand this truth. <laughs> Why the scripture said is a, a simplicity in Yahweh's child. It's Holy not. Only to say the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. It don't get no more simple than that. That shit is plain and clear. But then you have everybody be like, oh, that's not really what it means. Yeah. They start twisting. No, bro, it's clear, it's simple. Simple as the Lord is not the author of confusion. Go ahead. Full of mercy and good works. Well, they just got to the store to get their little blunts and their little 40. This is what you speak. They're Marco. They don't give a fuck. They don't say shit. Yeah, that's just our presence being out here. Because we sending these vibrations out there. You know what I mean? I know that word. I say, I say, hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. You fucking me up, man. I forgot how to say it. The fruit of righteousness is sown in peace to them that make peace. They get hypocrites. That 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 right there, scripture, the contract between we get nigga. Righteous man. Let me get another one real quick. Uh, this is Proverbs 10. This is one of my favorite scriptures right here. It says, uh, Proverbs 10. And, uh, let's call it, uh, let's call it, let's call it, let's call it, let's It says, uh, the mouth of a righteous man is a well of life. Uh, and they go back to we read the other scriptures. It's a fountain of life. This is a well. It's an oasis. You know what I mean? Say this is. It's that what? Oh, where the Lord said to that lady at the well, John four. He said, "Whoever drinks of this water shall never thirst again." Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Like, what thing we talk about life. Really, I mean, we talk about death and destruction. But really, that's going to bring life. Yeah, it's going to bring life. The Lord said, "Uh, He said if, if a seed." doesn't die, it's going to remain the same thing. You know what I'm saying? That seed you put it in the ground, it's got, it has to die to become a different form. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. So, even this shit, this shit can't be here forever because then, how the hell is the kingdom of heaven going to come? How the hell is peace on earth going to come on this earth if this shit here? <laughs> I made no damn sense. I mean, if you want to, you got to kill the cancer for to let the whole body live. It says, uh, it says, uh, but violence covers the mouth of the wicked. That's all these fools talk about today. All oh, about violence, murder. People always talk. Everybody think they the baddest motherfucker on the block. You know what I'm saying? Everything with these people is all about violence. 
Ain't nothing peaceful out here, you know what I'm saying? Bunch of assholes. For real. I mean, can't motherfuckers just be fucking peaceful, fucking peaceful, happy fucking people? Ask what you feel, feel, feel. I'm a, I'm a peaceful person, you know what I mean? Chill, like, yeah, I'm just right, you just try to... I hate when that shit happens, you just want to chill, somebody come on with some bullshit, some like attention, like, God, Exactly. Man, like, that's that devil, that's that spirit of the devil. That's me. Yeah. Go ahead. The niggas who work, like, so-called friends who work, you just trying to go, and be like, like, at work, whatever. Going break, you know what I'm saying? They just they just contentious, like you know, it's called uh, jesting, playfully make fun of somebody. Yeah. They always want to just make fun. They want to uh, send each other. What's it called? Uh, riff, uh, what's the saying called? Uh, uh, riff each other. Riff, riff each other. Whatever that was. Roasting. Called. Yeah, roasting. Like God damn, man, I'm trying to chill. Like you are just like always contentious. Like God damn. I know this. You know what I'm they don't take nothing serious. It's cool. There's a time and place for roasting, but yeah, they they, they is nothing serious about it. All this playing around for joking. And they have death penalty chain every fucking day. Especially on, on the people who don't even like. That motherfucker make fun of super retarded people and fucking. You know how you know Jake is evil. He'll make fun of you because you're poor. That's what, yeah. Oh, look at his shoes. What are those? Hey, but maybe motherfucker. That's what the bad thing about school. You go to school. Man, don't go to school with the, some uh, some all generic shoes on, bro. You're going to get roasted. All them little evil little kids are going to laugh at you. I happened to me when I was in school. I had some little generic shoes. I got roasted, man. Could make you want to cry. Like the little demons. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Let me read this real quick. This is from 2412. Because the Nickley show, apparently, the love of many show. It ain't no love out here. Ain't no love for their brother. Hey, somebody was out here, uh, had fucking head cracked open or whatever. You don't know. Ain't no way they gonna come up like, like oh, got it all fake, Facebook Live! World Star! World Star! They gone, man. That verse says, hatred striveth up strides, but love covers all sins. Well, it's not talking about love here, everybody. Love covers all sins? They'll use that like, oh, see, I could be a homosexual. Oh, man. That's love. The Lord, we, that's, and we're showing our love by doing this work. Said, in the midst of him to have understanding, wisdom is found, but it rots. What's up with all the loud ass shit out here? What's up with this? Yeah. It's louder than downtown. It's just stink. It's just stink. It's just stink back here. I think it's because we close by uh, that, that still spot. That gets real smelly down by the by Buckeye still. You can't even breathe by that motherfucker. To the lips of him that have understanding, wisdom is found. But the rod is for the back of him that is bored of understanding. Oh, whew, that's a fire that's a fire script. A rod is for the back of the him that is void of understanding. So the Lord said, Y'all need to get this shit beat out of you. Oh, too, I've seen a new story. That's a good point. I think it was Channel 4, or somebody just did a story. On the schools, it's like that. Uh, there's a teacher that just uh, resigned from the public schools. She said, "Cause the kids are too goddamn bad, she can't take it no more." Wow. She said that she wow. said she said she spent like 80 percent of her time just trying to get the class under control. Damn. So you look at these little demon little fucking kids up in these schools, man. Oh, that's my. That's the school I went to. Yeah. Motherfucker, lean on me. I was telling him about that the other day. I was like, yo, you sit lean on me? That's what my school is like. <laughs> what, one of the schools like that back then? No, nah, not the ones I went to. The one in the 80s? No, nah, no. Nah. Bro, I went to uh, Barrett. It was crazy. It was fucking... Right, but I went... I mean, there were schools like that. I just think y'all were... Oh, my school was... Well, they did have schools like out in the south side. My, my, that's my school. It's just like that. If not worse. Like I said, I always tell me when we play schools that was more in the inner city in football, man, I would fucking show the fuck out. The football fuckers don't, they weren't too ordinary. They had no discipline. They didn't play football year after year. They didn't, you know what I mean? That's why South High School always sucks. Shit, man. Look, man. That is terrible, wasn't it? Look, man. It was all shit. 
Except in basketball. They had a good team this year in basketball. Yeah, it was always decent, okay. Yeah, in basketball, it only takes one or two good players. Yeah, that's all it takes. That's all it takes. Yeah. In football, that's a team thing. That's a discipline. Come off the football field, I go right stick right next to the chairman. Just bounce around, y'all sleeping. <laughs> I just love this shit. And yeah, that takes discipline, though, playing football. Man, like you said, these kids in the hood ain't got no discipline. They ain't been taught. That's why they went to uh, going back to the rod to the back of a pool. <laughs> they, that's why these motherfuckers grow up acting all disrespectful. They ignorant, ne ignorant. They never got their ass whooped. Well, Esau, what do you do? You make it illegal. You get locked up. You yeah, you whip your children. You get you get locked up. That's crazy. But look at him. Now you, even the teachers are saying these kids is fucking bad. Yeah. 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 Man, I, even when I was in school, they, they was bad. Yeah. If I ever be in school, teacher tells somebody to keep it down, they'd be like, shut up, bitch. Well, hey, check it out, though. They're making movies now and shows now that, that the teachers are in shit. Yeah, they ain't shit. There's a, school, there's a movie called Teachers. There's a, there's a show called Teachers. Yeah. And them teachers are old, man. A lot of them, they always come they out there. They don't give a fuck about teachers. They get caught fucking the students. Yeah, hell yeah. Bad bitches, too. Oh, yeah. I always wanted to have sex with my teeth. That's all that bitch had to do was cut. I ought to fuck the hell out of my teeth. Oh, man. Oh, God. I had a couple of them, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Yeah, the teachers are home. Hey, the schools is actually the worst place on earth for a child, though. That's what mom that's where, I, that's where all the drugs are at. You know, the first time I got high on acid was in high school. Some kid was in school, little hippie kid. He's like, hey, man, you want you want to try this acid? I'm like, yeah, sure. Let's do this. At school. At fucking school. So they talking about you got to go to school. Got, but yeah, that's from schools where you go get high on acid. Right. Your daughter going to get uh, the train ran on her. She gonna get a bukkake up in the bathroom. I can honestly only remember like one or two motherfuckers that got high going to school. Just that's it. For real? Well, I was there. It was just everybody. Got, as time high. went on, it just got worse and worse. It did get worse. It just got worse and worse. That's where. That's, where, that's where the only place I knew how to get weed was the school. <laughs> everybody was selling weed at school. They come there with a little.